Good evening. This side, Rahul Magan here is a Group Chief Executive Officer, Treasury Consulting. I worked as a corporate treasurer and when I was in a corporate treasury, I was having a bit of time and I was a trainer for Institute of Chartered Accountant of India. I trained the CA students, rather the professional chartered accountants, almost all India, whether this is Delhi, Mumbai, Calcutta, Uttar Pradesh, you know, whether this is the fact end of the India, you know, which is Kanya Kumari, almost everywhere I taught the chartered accountant students and practitioners. And I am the, I'm not saying the number one, but I am one of the critics of the CA degree. In this whole six to seven years of relationship with the Institute of Chartered Accountant of India, one thing which I understood very clearly is the level of politics. So the level of politics in ICAI is beyond assumption, beyond assumption. You even cannot assume the kind of politics you would be facing. Probably they may be backstabbing also. I have seen various instances when even the secretary like people are directly and indirectly demanding of something to give you the work. I have seen various instances when the central council members are traveling on the student money irrationally. Anyways, the world is changing. With the changing world, there is a need to have a better program to equip people with the time. And unfortunately, the degrees which we have, specifically speaking in India, whether this is chartered accountant, whether this is company secretary, or whether this is cost accountant, they are more or less obsolete. Soon I would start covering cost accountant and company secretary also because I trained them as well. Guys, we need to understand that today world 2022 is all about artificial intelligence. It's about cryptocurrency. It's about, you know, I would say it's about the hyper end technologies. It's about payment gateways. It's about the fix protocols. It's about treasury management system and hell lot of thing. The biggest flaw which I always saw in the CA degree is the culture. Example, the first is the CPT. Millions of people sit for CPT, but just look at the course which is being produced. Did this course covering the derivatives? Or let me give you a simple example. Trading is not wrong. Definitely not wrong. Today, kids 16 year, 17 year, 18 year are taking positions in the requisite crypto exchanges worldwide and making some money out of it. Few many losing because they don't have any knowledge. They don't have anything. So they lose it as well. But when you talk about CA degree, have you ever seen equity derivatives being taught to CA people? Whether this is CPT, whether this is the next step, then followed by the internship, followed by the group one, group two, then GMCS and finally your degree. Have you seen that the CA degree is offering you an intelligence of equity derivatives? No, 
they don't millions of people those who opt for ca degree if they been taught how to handle equity derivatives at the inception then imagine the financial markets of india would be many times of what it is today but they not been taught they not been taught even in this 3 year of internship program i got several messages that majority of the students are end up doing something which they never like and see the kind of compensation they being offered by their employers so let me give you again specific example which is ifrs 3 or business combinations i hope you heard about goldman sachs morgan steel morgan stanley city bank jp morgan chase dbs and all these bank controversy or no controversy but many i not named they are the largest investment bankers in the world specifically goldman sachs and morgan stanley it's goldman sachs is 150 year old institution 150 year old institution and eve league eve league means the top eve league in the investment banking you tell the product and they already have this in the kitty controversy or no controversy but in the chartered accountant course have you seen whether they being taught the business combinations which is known as ifrs 3 and us gap fs 142r no how would you enter the world of investment banking if you do not know the business combinations how would you enter the world of investment banking is so complex and complicated compared to your textbooks because in your textbooks you feel that investment banking is the most easiest job to do but technically speaking investment banking is the most difficult job to do in fact 99% of the people do not know the difference between the merchant banker and investment banker they feel that both are same but if you look at the chartered accountant degree have you seen that this degree gives sufficient importance to the business combination so that a person who passed out as a chartered accountant can give the the cv curriculum vitae to you know to the big investment bankers and offer for a job rather cpa is also more or less same cpa is also not giving due importance to investment banking very soon i will start covering cpa also so even a chartered accountant who holds more than 5 years of work experience until otherwise he worked with the investment banks like goldman jp morgan stanley and all he having a very small and myopic idea about the investment banking very small and myopic idea and he feels that whatever is being taught in his degree or her degree is the appropriate thing let's talk about mtm accounting mark to market accounting us cap was principally based rules principle like you have to go this way law of land correct or not not correct this is a reason there is a heavy criticism of us cap on the social media while ifrs is a you know sorry us cap is a rule based approach while ifrs is a principle based approach a much more relaxed much more uh, intelligent and the big major difference is us cap is qualitative though quantitative at some places but ifrs is purely quantitative mathematical 
This is one of the reasons, without quoting the name, the big firms across the globe are heavily reluctant having IFRS. Because they know the day they would have IFRS, it would be completely mathematical in nature. But whether you are a big bank, probably JP Morgan, maybe Goldman Sachs, or maybe you are a small company, or you may be a big companies like Reliance, or maybe anyone, you are subject to have mark to market accounting. And why? Because their books have the exposures. So let's take an example of Reliance. They have huge debt, some Indian rupee, some foreign currency, some different type of instruments and so on and so forth. So of course, every month when they close their books and every quarter when they report their books and every year when they do the annual reporting, they are subject to have mark to market accounting. But of course, Reliance runs their treasury as a hedge fund, which is definitely a good thing. And the very important thing about Reliance is that they are more or less EPS neutral. And I'm sure that in the whole chartered accountant course started from CPT till the end GMCS EPS neutral not being taught. This is the reason even if rupee today is 78 or there was a time when it was 62 Reliance is not operationally hit never been. Yes, they are operationally hit because of the oil prices, because of the other factors than FX, but FX, they are completely hedged, controlled. But a charted accountant in not at all under, not at all having a deep understanding of the mark to market accounting. So there are various places where we have serious flaws about the chartered accountant degree. Serious flaws, because if we compare this degree with the world which we are facing, by the way, when we have cryptocurrencies, when we have artificial intelligence, when we have supersonic technologies, when we have mark to market accounting, we have the, you know, we have huge data sets, we have ECNs, electronic communication networks and many more things. CA degree is practically silent. And even if they have few degree programs, which they are offering to their members, you can look at the courses and their course curriculum. That's more important thing. So they are offering a course called FXTM for an exchange and treasury management. You would be surprised to know this is not being taught using Reuters. And how can you teach foreign exchange without Reuters? That's the more important thing. It is like, what do you say? How can you see the heaven without dying? It's like this without dying. How can you see the heaven? That's more important thing. I know that many people do not like this video, but to me, it hardly matters. I am a very upfront speaker. I spoke about SoftBank. I spoke about LIC. I spoke about Reserve Bank of India. I spoke about Federal Reserve. I spoke about Joe Biden. I spoke about many things. And to me, you know, remarks, like, dislikes, and all these things are immaterial in nature. But yes, one thing which I always would like to say is that if we not mend our ways, if we not mend our ways, if the Board of Studies, Institute of Chartered Accountant of India, not improved the course comprehensively, to be honest, comprehensively, then the big mess is on the cards because the world is changing. World is reluctant that you are not changing. That's not my problem, but I am changing. But the course taught by the CA Institute is not changing. And that's the big factor. I would be speaking more on the CA course. This is Rahul Mugan from Treasury Consulting Group. You knew my personal number 9899. 242978 have a great time